Hey, what is going on guys? This is me, the self-elected day of the year. And today I'm gonna do a little tour in the game Star Citizen. So this game is now approaching a state where you can get a feeling for the final flavor or how the game is going to be when it's going to be ready. So it's still in early alpha stages and uh, of course there are lots of bugs and glitches and stuff like that but right now with this uh, build that it has right now you can get a little bit of an impression of it how it's going to be. And you see right here I'm spawned in my little flat or however you want to call it and now I can walk around on the space station and you see that the graphics are really awesome I would not have expected that the, the interiors of, of everything will look so good and I'm also quite amazed or surprised that the performance of the game is pretty good so um, I don't have the best PC uh, you can imagine yet still even while recording I get uh, pretty good performance. I wouldn't say that it's spectacularly good or anything like that, but at least it's not bad. And I want to show you guys a nice view that we can have. Right here you see the space station. And out there we have a very big spacecraft. So somebody right here you can spawn in your, your plane or your ship. And um, this outside here, this big ship, there is a constellation. So some player here has spawned it in. You see right here, you see the space station rotating. Over there is a big planet there. So I, I, I have some problems with textures popping in and out sometimes. Especially here at this window. But you will have a better look once we get outside. And yeah, now we can spawn in our ship right here to go to one of these monitors and now you see that my ship is going to be delivered over there and you can also navigate with these signs here so you find the right landing pad but you see it already outside there We have to go out using one of these airlocks, also very nicely done. And here we are. And now you see that the stars and Everything is is uh, it's working properly. And this right here, for example, is also a very nice ship. The Avenger. This is one that I'm going to get eventually. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so yeah, that's it's how most people uh, <laughs> how most people take off at the first time. And of course I can also just jump off the station here and float around. I got some, uh, you know, I got a kind of spacesuit that allows me to move, be, uh, do a little bit of a spacewalk. And you see that this is really, really amazing. And now people, of course, who don't have an idea of what this game is going to be about, you know, this game is going to be uh, more or less uh, not not really a sandbox game or anything like that, but uh, you can basically do whatever you want in this universe. You can meet up with friends, you can form a squadron, and you can build a base on on a moon or whatever. You can be a pirate, you can be a bounty hunter, you can be uh, you can be a kind of truck driver, space style. 
and deliver goods from one space station to another and earn in-game currency and build your space station with it, buy some additional ships and all that stuff, you know. So you can basically do whatever you want and just explore space. And unfortunately right now, um, Track IR is not working. Uh, so in this early alpha stage build, uh, there's no track IR implemented, and I also haven't equipped my joystick. So uh, the impression that you're going to have from within the cockpit is not going to be uh, as it is going to be in the final state. I will show it to you nevertheless, and we can take a look at how uh, we can travel around and stuff. And yeah, for some some of you guys, also uh, a thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is um, my Battle of Moscow ski competition. So all systems online. I told you guys that I'm going to uh, select a winner or do the epic play competition for for. Um, Bogey scanning landing gear raised autopilot. Disengaged. Uh, for uh, how's the game called? IL2 uh, Battle of Stalingrad. Bogey. Scanning. Unfortunately, I have to tell you guys that um, first of all, I didn't have much time, and second of all, and this is much more important, I do not really feel like the stuff that you guys send at me <laughs> is epic enough to be uh, put in a epic play compilation. And I don't want to be rude, I'm very s really thankful for, for every little uh, thing. I, I, I watched it and I read the stuff that you wrote me. Uh, but basically what you guys sent me in were just... were just uh, simple missions that you flew, you know, and maybe there were some kill streaks going on, but uh, what I wanted was really okay. epic plays, you know? Okay. So unexpected, very, very uh, epic moments Bogey. and just uh, just having uh, some, some kill streaks and stuff like that is unfortunately not enough, I guess. So I'm going to wait if there's going to be uh, more material, more, uh, more footage for an epic play compilation and if at the end of the next month, um, I'm talking about January, uh, so the first month of the next year, if there's no, not anything, uh, then I'm going to just um, give one uh, random winner the keys, and maybe I'm going to do some some comments. Uh, maybe you have to tell me just some joke in the comment section or whatever, and I'm going to pick a winner for the key. So now I'm going to just fly around here. We can we have some different uh, modes we can use so the speeds are changing Bogey, scanning. and yeah that's basically a cruise speed that I'm using right here and you can go a lot faster than that too and when you are that fast you cannot really maneuver anymore but uh, yeah, I really like the sounds and I like how it's done and now we are going to travel to some distant station or some moon. What do we have here? This is this is a nice place to go. Scanning. Bottom travel initiated. Now we're going to to use this hyperdrive or whatever you want to call it some kind of uh, manipulation of space-time and now we are here at this awesome moon site and uh, you can you will be also able to to f fly down on a planet and explore the planets Uh huh. So um, yeah, of course these things are all just more or less to show off how how it's going to be. Like I said, once again, it's uh, very very early stages of development. On oh, 
Well, and um, yeah, and you cannot uh, yet visit these planets really. If you if you get too close to them, um, there's going to be a message popping up telling you that you have to watch out because you are approaching the gravitational field of the planet and it's going to rip your plane apart or your ship. But um, yeah, that's basically uh, how this game is going to be, and we can now. Take uh, one look at this little station and take a look if we can really not get into it. And of course, you are also going to be able to uh, to to attack enemy ships, for example. And you can. Warning! You are trespassing on Kovalex private property. Can you just get out of your ship? And float over to theirs and get into their uh, ship while using the, the docking, uh, the air, uh, the um, whatever the name is, the airlock. And yeah, I, I really, I really think that this game is going to be very, very amazing, especially with with Oculus Rift. And um, yeah. It shouldn't be too far in the future that we are going to be able to see some um, some gunfights and stuff like that. First person shooter style is also going to be implemented into this game. And I think it's going to be the the best game um, of maybe the year two 2016. I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, completely finally released in 2016, but um, we will see and I definitely hope so. So yeah, uh, I wish you guys all a uh, happy Christmas and a happy new year. And uh, like I said, I didn't have much time to do uh, new flight videos and stuff. Also, there was uh, nothing new uh, released. And whenever something new is going to be released, you can count on me that I'm going to do a video about it. I'm uh, waiting for... Um, waiting for... Uh, how's the game? Uh, the MiG-3 in uh, Battle of Stalingrad. It's going to be a very good, awesome, high-altitude Russian fighter. I'm really looking forward to that one, because it's going to change the whole meta a little bit and make flying as a Russian a little bit more interesting. I have been trying to get some nice uh, LR-5 footage for you guys, but um, the LR-5 is really a... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't like it, and I had not much success with it. So um, yeah, so I, I uh, apologize for not putting out any videos, but um, like I said, time is uh, a little bit rare, and you know my videos are most of the time with with a post commentary or with a commentary, and uh, I'm not just uh, putting out some random gameplay or anything, and um, yeah, it takes some time to do videos like that. So uh, I hope you guys uh, understand, and I will, uh, of course, release new videos when the MiG-3 is out and stuff like that. So, but uh, in the meantime, um, check out this game. If you haven't checked it out, you can uh, get uh, ships for it. Uh, they are very expensive right now. They are not going to be as expensive when the game is going to be final. You will be able to buy this game uh, when it's released um, just like any other game and um, I hope that it's not going to develop into a pay to win franchise but uh, I think that the developers of this game are going to do it the right way and we can really look forward to what this game is going to bring to the to the table so this was the self-elected day of the year signing off and check this game out if you haven't already